Hello everyone, today I have had a request to hack Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First off, you always want to attach Cheat Engine, otherwise uh, you're not going to be hacking much of anything. I keep getting this request constantly, and I don't know why I haven't done it. I just, I guess I've never really gotten around to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save state the game right here. I forget how to do it. I think it's F2 and then F4. There we go. That's how you do it. Starting out, I'm going to get the uh, current state that Mario's in, whether he's big, small, raccoon Mario. You get the point. So when I get the mushroom, I'm going to say that it's increased to a 1. And I did not mean to do that. But that is okay. There we go. We'll say, I don't know what it increased to, but we'll just say it's increased. Let's go ahead and take some damage, and we'll say we're back at 1. Alright, so one of those should be our culprit. We'll play around with them, see what happens. Looks like I found it. That being said, we can use the memory scan options to find the cheats a lot more faster. One two and zero two nine F F F F F. All right, this should definitely help us out. Um, one off the bat, I want to find is the invulnerability. And that's whenever you see Mario get hit and he starts flashing. We'll say it's zero when we're not flashing, and then it increases when we are. All righty. Let's do an exact scan for zero. Take some damage. There we go. And we'll say it's increased. All right, I'm going to guess here it's probably this one. And it looks like I was wrong. Could be this one right here. Let's try it. New. No. How about this one? There we go. Alright, so we can freeze our state. We can uh, make it so we always got the raccoon tail or whatever. The next thing I want to go ahead and hack is our inventory during the map screen. I want to make it so I can just pretty much give myself any kind of item I'd like to have. Yes, I just changed into something strange. I'm not going to showcase that just yet. thing I just did, that is a definite game breaker. Alright, so now I've got it save stated. Uh, let's go ahead and find out what our value is. We'll do an unknown initial value. I'm not even sure if we can use that. We can. Okay, so we'll say it's decreased. Let's go into a level and goof around for a bit get some of these to change around uh, on their own and do an unchanged scan just like that and do it a couple times or still seems to be getting rid of them so we're good. Alright, let's say it's increased 
and we don't want all these ones that are turning red. These 55s have to go. I'm going to assume it's probably this. And we'll change it to a 3. I should have a leaf or whatever. Yep. So I'm able to change what's in my inventory. I want the star, because I'm going to give myself infinite star power. Oh, I did not mean to pick this scrolling level, but oh well, that's fine. Do an unknown initial value. And then do a decrease scan. And then do it again. And one of these guys should be it. I'm thinking it's probably going to be this one right here because they're the only things that really closely resemble what I currently have in the table. So we should be able to freeze one of these, reload our state. It looks like it was this bottom one right here. Change that to 255, freeze it. Hmm. I see two of them that are not changing at all on their zeros. I think it might be this one instead. Yep. There we go. So now we've got infinite star power and vulnerability. We can pretty much give ourselves any kind of item we want. Let's go ahead and have some more fun. Let's let's go as far to beat the game real quick. Um, let's see, what is it, 10, I think? Not sure what that does. I haven't played this game in such a long time. I forget what a lot of the items do. I know some break the rocks, and I forget what the boat anchor does. You know, I've always wondered what will happen, like, if I'm here and I use the whistle. I forget. Let's find out. Nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and beat the game. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a special suit that is not ordinarily achievable in this game. And you're about to find out why. Yes, I am swimming in midair. And I kind of look like one of those piranha plant things. It's such a shame I have to go through these levels. I hate these scrolling levels. They uh, add more time onto the video. I like to beat games as fast as possible, or wreck them as fast as possible with these uh, hacks. I just gotta remember to shut off the star cheat whenever I do get to Bowser, because if you kill Bowser with a star, you're not supposed to do it in the first place, and it will wind up, you know, making you stuck there. You can't do nothing. I had this one video, and it was quite impressive. There was a guy who instantly went to here with no cheats at all, wound up getting over 100 lives and beating the game like within five, six minutes. But he was like bouncing off everything in this in this world. And uh, every time after a while of bouncing off everything, he wound up getting a, an extra life each time. It was pretty crazy. I've never seen anybody play Mario legitly like that. And, I was kind of impressed, like, wow. So let's go ahead and kill this guy, and you're dead. I don't think I need to go up in there. Or actually, yeah, I do.
gotta say, I love the music in this game. The music, the graphics. I mean, this is what a damn game is. Not no buffed out 3D piece of crap. It's not all about the graphics, in my opinion. I like this suit, the Piranha Swimmer suit is what I'll call it. I don't think I've ever been able to get through that without being grabbed by one of those hands. Looks like I got something I don't need. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was hoping that wouldn't do that, but oh well. I'm going to have to become small to get through this. Yeah. Let's change it to zero. And then change it back to seven. I also get a lot of requests to do uh, Mario 2, but I just honestly cannot stand that game. Mario 1, everybody seems to have already gotten their fill out of hacking that. I don't know anything else I can do to that. I was able to make all the clouds in the background floating Bowsers, but it wasn't that impressive. I thought this would be cool because I've done this before, and the last person I showed this to was like, what the hell? I did hack Super Mario Brothers 2, though. Um, I wound up hacking it, so I always had the PAL block, and that was kind of fun, but... Other than that, there wasn't really much of a difference between this video you're seeing now and me hacking that. It was the same concept. thing I like about this suit is it's making me the cloud here, and I can just run through all these levels. I don't even have to play them. I can even go through the castle. Uh, I think I'm supposed to, yeah, go this way. It's been so long since I've played this game and actually beaten it. Probably could have went as far as hacking the amount of coins, the lives, all that good stuff, but at this point I think it would be, you know, extremely redundant. I mean, I'm not going to die anyways. Score doesn't really matter to me, and the timer, that's never going to run out.
Here we go. Kill him real fast, and then we're on our way to Bowser. I just gotta remember to turn off the star power cheat, otherwise I'll wind up clipping through, uh... Well, not clipping through, but I'll wind up killing him and being stuck in that room. Honestly, I don't even think I need the star power cheat because I'm invulnerable anyways. He is somewhere up here. Yep. Seems to be going I seem to be going the right way. Alrighty, let me get over here and I'll turn off the star cheat. There we go. Let's let this idiot go ahead and destroy the, the floor and die the natural way. I guess I could have just stood over there and that would have been a lot faster. Oh well. You son of a bitch, just destroy those bottom blocks there. There you go. Now he's dead. Alrighty, the door opened. And that is the end, folks. I remember when I first read that, I got so pissed off, like, oh shit, more crap to go through. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment or any other requests, just leave it in the comment section.